Today's video is going to be something a little bit different. We're going to be going over my signed book collection. This is going to specifically be of people like actors, reality TV, musicians, people within the pop culture space, not traditional authors, which we have many more signed books of those people, but that's not what this video is. And if you're wondering why I'm doing a signed book collection, I enjoy collecting these quite a bit. I don't have an extensive collection, but I'm happy with the ones I got, and I, there's more I plan to get. You can get really big actors sometimes, their autographs, for just the price of the book, like 20 to 35 bucks. We just pre-ordered a uh, Jamie Lee Curtis one. She has a book coming out. I think it's a graphic novel, but it's it's signed by her. It was the price of like 30 bucks or something like that. She would not be 30 bucks at a convention. Sure, it's just on the book, but it's significantly cheaper. So it's a cool way to collect your autograph if you want, and you get a good book out of it many times. So it's a win-win. Uh, so let's go through some of these I got in person, some of them I did not. If you do the book tours ever, uh, some of the times they let you take other stuff to get signed too. So like there's a Bruce Campbell one in here. I got a couple of things signed all for the price of a book. So it's definitely worth it. First up, we're going to have Jackie Chan's book. This was an in-person at a bookstore called Bookends. There is his autograph, which is a very nice autograph. Sometimes they're not, but uh, this very much so is. This is one of the cooler ones I have. Next up, we have this is a bookstore purchased one, but this is Kristen Ritter. You would know her as... Uh, Jessica Jones for the Marvel show that was on, Nef it was a Netflix show, yeah. And pretty nice. Can't read it, but she has, it's a nice look to her autograph at least. So that's that's a cool one. Uh, this one was pretty cheap too. Take me back to my childhood now with freaking Bill Nye. Oh my God. Uh, kids my age would have definitely watched Bill Nye, the science guy. I had to get this. I started reading it. He's smarter than me. Uh, yeah, some things went over my... It's it's not super, super smart. He's still... He's good at, at writing. But he has a beautiful signature. So I, I like when they sign it. It's so nice you can legit read it. And this thing, either he signed a lot or it didn't sell a lot. Like, I even saw this in the bargain bin still signed. So, I don't know. I love Bill Nye, though. Next one up is Jason Siegel actually wrote with another person a fiction book. And it's signed by Jason Siegel and the author of the book, or well, the co-author of the book. So that was cool. I got that during Black Friday several years ago. So I mentioned reality TV people before, which Bill Nye, I mean, doesn't fall into reality, but he doesn't fall into the actor category either. But... Also have the Property Brothers. I enjoy these guys. I like those home renovation type shows. And there's both their autographs. This was pretty cheap also, I believe. I've got a couple of musicians in here. And one I'm a big fan of. I've liked her music for a long time. This is Lindsey Sterling. And it is signed by her and the co-author of the book. So that's pretty cool. I loved the show Community. And picked up Joel McHale's book, which has some funny moments in it. And let's see his signature, which is kind of just scrawled all across the title and everything like that. But yeah, pretty cool. I like him. I think he's funny. This next one, again, falls into the reality side. But uh, I was a huge fan of Mythbusters. Loved Mythbusters. And there was a thing in New York City called BookCon. That was sh too short-lived, unfortunately. COVID killed it and it hasn't come back. But I met a bunch of people there, and one of them was Adam Savage. So cool to meet him in person. Super, super nice guy. Look at that. That one he actually inscribed. Very few of them I have actually, like, inscribed to Tim. But, yeah, Adam Savage was such a nice guy. I was. It was one of those, like, you know don't meet your heroes type thing. Like, I, I've always heard he was a nice guy. Thankfully, he was. Uh, I, I love his stuff. He has a YouTube channel that is great also. So I still get to see him past, past Mythbusters. But yeah, very happy I met him. Next up, we have the adorable Anna Ferris. 
And there is her signature, which is a very pretty signature, really. This one sold out pretty quick, and there's a reason, because how many opportunities do you have to really meet Steve Martin? I don't think Steve Martin does cons or anything like that. There it is, signed by Steve Martin and the co-author of the book. But, yeah, I wasn't going to turn down getting uh, Steve Martin. That is so cool. Gee, I feel my hair is going all over the place here. But, uh, anyways, next up is Kevin Hart with a very meh signature. But, still, it's pretty cool to get Kevin Hart. Next one up, this was purchased well before what happened on the set of that movie, uh... This is not, don't nobody throw in political stuff into the comments. It's just, I I liked 30 Rock a lot, and I liked Alec Baldwin. So, yeah, got that. Very cool. This was from, like I said, I got this years ago now. Next one up, she has a very, very pretty signature. But we got Candace Cameron. Loved Full House. Loved Full House. And that's a very pretty signature. That is so nice. This was from, uh, same place I got a couple of them in person, uh, Bookends in New Jersey. Very nice place. They specialize in getting a lot of people in for their book tours to get signed. So, yeah, this is another in-person one. This one is probably one of my biggest, and he actually has a new book coming out that is also signed. It's sold out a lot of places, but you can look, maybe you can find one somewhere that is still available because you will never get a autograph from this person cheaper unless you're actually in L.A. and you run across him or something like that. But it's not like he does cons. Uh, this is Tom Hanks. This Even this for, this one sold out very quick. But yeah, it was so cool. A freaking Tom Hanks signature. And this was like a $25 book or something like that. I was like, that is so cool. We're getting there, I, I think. I get, I'm through the one full stack. But... Next up, we got William Daniels. Met him in person at that bookends. It still has the two April thing in there, but really nice signature. Super nice guy. Uh, you might know him as Mr. Feeney for Boy Meets World, but he was also the voice of Kit and Knight Rider. And then it's so much stuff. Super nice guy, though. I've made my music taste known already on here. A big fan of like stuff like Slipknot and Stone Sour. We got Corey Taylor's book. There's his very piss poor signature. This is one I've already shown before in a video. This is one of my newer ones, but Pamela Anderson. And there's her signature. Big fan of Parks and Rec, and I think everybody loves his character in it, but I had to get Nick Offerman. Nick Offerman is so cool, and he has a pretty nice signature, honestly. Next up is another in-person one where we met Patricia Heaton, and this is her cookbook. Uh, and it, we have a thing still in here. What is it? The digital copy code for Spider-Man is our bookmark for a recipe. But anyways, yeah, in-person one, and it has my wife's name there. But yeah, she was super nice in person. I think you guys already know I'm a big fan of art. I like movie-related art. One of my favorite artists, Gary Pullen. So I throw this kind of into the pop culture, but there is his autograph. I love his art though. So many cool posters. This is a really cool book. Next one up, I got this off Think Geek years ago, but we got the Rogue One making of. And inside is a book plate here signed by a bunch of people involved in the making of the movie, including director Gareth Edwards. So that's very cool. I, that's really cool to get a director. I don't have very many director autographs. The man, the myth, the legend, freaking Bruce Campbell. I've met him a bunch. I didn't need the book to get his signature. But well, I did, when I got this signed actually, is how I got a couple of things signed for just the price of the book. We bought multiple multiple books for multiple tickets too. Uh, but there's his autograph, which... I've grown on it uh, over the years. It, it's very consistent. His autograph always looks like this. And this is an awesome, awesome book. We're going to have a few kids' books in here with Neil Patrick Harris. There he is. We actually have a couple How I Met Your Mother people in here in this video. 
this is, I throw this into the pop culture one. He is a traditional author. He's the only traditional author one, I guess, that's in here. But I figured you guys would appreciate. We got R.L. Stein right there. I met him at BookCon years ago. So cool to meet freaking R.L. Stein. Just about there. We got three left. Uh, at that BookCon, also met Alyssa Milano. BookCon didn't really let you get other stuff signed. You only got signed whatever book they were promoting but also they were cheap as heck uh some of them the, they gave the books out for free actually and some of them you had to pay but they weren't much but yeah that very cool so you weren't paying extra for autographs or anything like that some some they just gave you the book really cool but there is her signature really cool to meet Alyssa milano this is a case of i did not buy the book to ever read it but <laughs> how cute is john cena has a kid's book and it's signed, which, you know they're targeting adults. Like, what kid cares to have a signed John Cena book, I guess? A kid that would be the age of reading this. But still, pretty cool. And that's, that's kind of cute. There's cute artwork in there. I'm not going to say I didn't flip through it. And now we have the final one. We have this Family Guy. It's a nice coffee table book about Family Guy. And it is signed by Seth McFarlane. Very freaking cool. So, that is... Oh, my books are starting to tip over. We don't want that right now. Oh, my goodness. These, uh... The making of books are, are big. Anyways, that's everything. I hope you enjoyed the video. Something a little bit different. But I wanted to show some of these. And also, to get it out there, that if you don't look into this stuff, you... You should, uh, if, if autographs at all interest you. If they don't interest you, don't look into it, obviously. But uh, if they at all do interest you, you can get cool people. Like, there's even, right now, still available at certain bookstores, you get, like, Laura Dern's autograph or autographed autobiography. Like, that's cool. Jamie Foxx. Like, pretty big people for just the price of the book. Very cool. It's a fun little thing to collect, so... Yeah, that's all I got. Maybe someday I'll do, like, traditional authors. But for now, just the pop culture-y people. But, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you have any of these type of books down below signed. And, uh, yeah, that's all. See you in the next one.